there's a great need for health care professionals and a long list of health care jobs. And here to tell us about one health care career track is Michael Riker. He's the director of the nurse anesthesia program at Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center. Thank you so much for joining us. We Thank appreciate you for having it. me. Glad All to be right. here. So let's start. What exactly is this nurse anesthesia? Well, a nurse anesthetist, nurse anesthesia is one of the oldest uh, specialty clinical areas in nursing. So it's an advanced practice nursing area. It dates back to 1887 when a nurse by the name of Sister Mary Bernard documented her care of anesthesia, patients undergoing anesthesia at a small hospital in Erie, Pennsylvania. So um, from that time, we've grown to about 49,000 professionals across the country involved in over 40 million anesthetics every year in the United States. All right, so now how is this different, the CRNA different from an anesthesiologist, or is there any difference? Uh, yes, we're, we're both anesthesia professionals, although our educational course that leads us there is very different. The anesthesiologist physician follows a pathway through medical school, very broad-based education in every aspect of medicine and surgery, and then specialized in anesthesia. The nurse anesthesia route is much more streamlined. We begin as nurses, and as nurses, it's much more focused on acute care nursing. All right, so now what's the demand like for the CRNAs? It's very good. It's very good, as a matter of fact. The uh, population is aging, as you know, and so a lot of, there's a lot of demand for surgery going forward. At the same time, our CRNA population is aging as long, along with the general population, and we anticipate that about 50% of nurse anesthetists are going to retire in the coming uh, decade. So there's going to be a high demand that's going to continue on for quite a few years. All right, so how long does it take to become one, and is there good money that comes with that, uh, too? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well, it's a long road. So the the, the educational path is a four-year baccalaureate degree. Typically, that's a bachelor's degree in nursing. Following that, the person is required to have intensive care experience, professional experience as an RN. For the students that we admit at Wake Forest Baptist at our training site, it's uh, an average of about three years of ICU experience. Then they come back for their graduate program that leads to either a master's or clinical doctoral degree in nurse anesthesia. So for the typical person following this path, it's about an eight to ten year course altogether. Mm -hmm. And I was asking if this is a good paying job. But... Uh, there's, there's no free lunch. The, <laughs> no the, free the pay, lunch. Yeah. The pay is good, but you know we take on an awful lot of responsibility at the same time, so it balances out. But, but there's really no better profession, I think. Uh, are people jumping at this one right now? Or are oh, they... they, we have way, we get about 150 applicants every year for 24 positions that we have at Wake Forest. So wow. yes, very much so. Big demand. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much. We do appreciate it. Thanks for for more me. information, you can call 336-716-1411 or, or visit wakehealth.edu slash nurse anesthesia program. That was a mouthful. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it.